In the last episode, we talked about the nature of gut and gut feelings. We discovered that there are more neurons in the gut than in the brain. And we found out that there are more germ cells within us than the human cells. We also spoke about two research articles. One talked about the role of fecal treatment in cancer and the second one about the germ deficiency in humans. In this episode, we are going to talk about the reasons for gut damage and how we can revitalize our gut microbiome. We can divide the damage to our guts into two parts. One is the structural damage, the damage to the membrane of the gut, and the second is ecological damage, which is the loss of diversity. Although both of them might be quite interconnected. The easiest way to understand structural damage is to look at leaky gut. This is a problem on the rise in developed countries, but also in other parts of the world. In this problem, the tight membranes and junctions of the gut get damaged and large molecules like gluten get in contact with the bloodstream. Now foreign proteins must be digested into amino acids before they can enter the blood circulation or they cause a lot of mayhem. Our gut has very tight regulations on what can enter the bloodstream and what cannot. With leaky gut, there are damages and leaks from where different substances start entering the bloodstream. Over a normal course, the doctor will analyze a list of different food which cause sensitivity to the person and prescribe against taking them. One big reason for this structural damage is the rise of different chemicals in our food. With industrial processes, more and more chemical compounds are coming into human consumption. Our biology hasn't had time to understand what to do with them. One such chemical is glyphosate. It's a herbicide and it's gone so deep into the food chain that it's impossible to get it out. The only idea would be to either start growing your own food or partnering with a family who grows food without using glyphosate. The second kind of damage is the ecological damage. We talked about this in the last video. It's the loss of diversity in the microbiota. We talked about in, uh, in that research paper that for Californians, they are having 75% less diversity of germs as compared to the African nomads. This loss of Diversity in the germs also has a philosophical dimension, which many of our problems have. It's to do with this concept of human isolation, that humans are there for on their own sake. They are separate and it leads to a selfish view to the world. We have to understand that we exist in interconnection with the ecosystem around us. We are not separate from it and we cannot kill all the germs and expect ourselves to be healthy. In last one century, one notion went down very strongly within humanity, that germs are bad and we need to kill them. This was led by the invention of microscope, the discovery of connection of microbes with infectious diseases the discovery of antibiotics and with it came many antimicrobial substances like preservatives, disinfectants and germicides. Usage of all these products saved us from many contagious diseases. But on the other hand, it caused a complete mayhem on our gut microbiome. This photo is where you can see the extent to which this campaigning has gone. This is from the Kumbh Mela, 
which is a large religious gathering in India. It is also known to be one of the largest human gathering which happens on the world. You can see the plate and it has the Indian flatbread, a chapati, with a slogan, Did you wash hands with Life Boy? Life Boy being a popular soap and sanitizer brand. During COVID, the sanitization frenzy reached unprecedented heights and it has been detrimental to our gut health. We consume a lot of packaged food these days and to keep it good, we need to add preservatives. Preservatives prevent the growth of fungus, germs and any other bacteria. And when I eat this food, the preservatives also go inside me and they kill my gut microbiota. Then there are antibiotics. They are like atom bombs for the microbiota. You must have noticed that many people after undergoing a surgery or pregnancy, they gain a lot of weight and it is due to the use of antibiotics. You see, when the gut flora is lost, all the food that I'm eating is consumed by my human cells. In other case, some of the food was also being consumed by the germs. This makes me gain weight faster. And use of antibiotics as a growth enhancer is also very common in the animal food industry for the same reason. Killing the gut germs of an animal makes it gain weight faster and makes it more valuable to sell. Use of preservatives is equally or maybe more damaging in so-called natural or herbal products. They need a very high concentration of preservatives. One such brand of aloe vera juice has already caused a lot of damage to the Indian population. Now comes the million dollar question. What do we do? Protecting structural damage is easier. Uh, it is to eat food which comes from rejuvenating farming. Anything which rejuvenates farming, eating that produce also rejuvenates our health. Restoring microbiota is uh, also fun, but a complex and a slightly long-term goal. It can involve steps like eating a lot of raw and high fiber food, exposing yourself to the forest, to the soil, uh, further exposing yourself to streams and ponds, avoiding a lot of packaged foods, avoiding uh, cosmetics or toiletries with 100% germ killing advertisements. While we eat food, we need to keep in mind that we are not just eating for our taste buds or just the human cells. There is a whole forest inside us and we are eating for all of those different species. Probiotics, uh, they could be a good start, but our goal is longer. We should aspire to have a very rich, diverse microbiome. You see, with probiotics, uh, you only get a few species. And thinking in this approach is like buying food from supermarkets. You have to keep buying again and again. Whereas the real goal would be to develop a rich farm or a forest within us, which keeps giving. And the best way to assess your gut health is through gut feelings. Thank you for your attention. Namaste.